Kindly mute your microphone when not in use. Next, switch on your video if your connectivity allows you. If you have questions with regards to the presentation, there will be an open forum right after. Please type it in the chat box or use the raise hand reaction button in Zoom and unmute yourself. The session is video recorded. Recordings will be made available at the Silliman Online University Learning website. Heavenly Father, we come to you in this hour, asking for your guidance and protection to our virtual gathering today. We thank you for the gift of life, the gift of family, the gift of work, and the gift of friendship. We thank you for this great opportunity to bring us together in this session as brothers and sisters. Bless the committee, the facilitator, and the attendees of this gathering. May we continue to value and appreciate the true essence and meaning of life with the help of your grace. And as we go along to our discussion today, we humbly pray that you would deepen our understanding. Lord, enlighten us and give us wisdom every day. Forgive us for our shortcomings and remind us to always be mindful of the things we do in life. We offer our life and our decisions to you, O Lord. May this gathering today create a memorable experience and a fruitful outcome. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and our Savior. Amen.
to Silliman University, the campus by the sea. In 2015, Silliman University was awarded by the Commission on Higher Education a project entitled ICT in Teacher Education, Benchmarking, Training, and Technology Development Towards Innovative Teaching and Learning. One of its deliverables is the Portable Learning Management System. It is a kind of information system that is transferable to multiple environments and manageable to a variety of infrastructure specifications using any USB flash drive. It is designed using pedagogical principles to help teachers develop innovative communities. In 2018, the Commission granted another fund to train teachers in the Visayas region using PLMS with the main objective to create a student-centered environment. The pandemic brought by COVID-19 opened an opportunity for all of us to embrace the use of technology in our teaching and learning. Schools have shifted to online classes, but many schools are challenged due to poor internet connectivity. In a press release, the Commission promotes flexible learning, either the use of digital and non-digital technology, and does not necessarily require connectivity. Among the other activities, the Commission suggested that take-home exercises and educational packets should be considered as part of flexible learning. As a center of excellence in IT education, this project is implemented with the main objective to assist HEIs in implementing technology-enhanced flexible learning, specifically to implement portable learning management as an alternative modality of flexible learning, especially in higher education institutions that are challenged with internet connectivity. Welcome to this open online course, a 12 week of equipping the necessary skills and competencies on technology-enhanced flexible learning. Welcome to our journey towards our preferred future. Stay safe, everyone. At the end of the training, 
teacher participants will be equipped with the necessary skills and competencies on technology-enhanced flexible learning. Teachers will be immersed in micronus learning, flipped and micro-learning that they can replicate in their own online teaching delivery. Specifically, the teacher participants are expected to 1. Understand philosophy of technology-enhanced flexible learning. 2. Deepen understanding of the leadership in technology-enhanced flexible learning. Three, identify educational tools according to the theories, principles, and practices of learning and associate these theories to the available technology. Four, distinguish the different kinds of technologies to support flexible learning. Five, explain the teaching and learning frameworks for integrating ICT into the curriculum. Six, apply curricular modification to suit what is appropriate in technology-enhanced flexible learning. Seven, demonstrate the applicable instructional design in technology-enhanced flexible learning. Eight, design the management of class resources, assessment, and student interaction in technology-enhanced flexible learning. Nine, assess the privacy issues in technology-enhanced flexible learning. Ultimately, we hope that teachers will be digitally resilient in the new normal of teaching and learning. There will be synchronous and asynchronous sessions with micro-learning flipped learning, and classroom gamification. During asynchronous activities, participants are expected to listen to pre-recorded lecture videos, read required lecture notes, participate in open forum, perform activities, take short quizzes. The synchronous activities via Zoom is conducted every Saturday, 2 to 3 p.m. This is your chance to listen live to our invited speakers for knowledge deepening, consultation, and question and answer activities. Likewise, exciting knowledge check activities are prepared for all the participants. First, there is weekly assignment. Weekly assignment is a set of objective type of questions, multiple choice, true or false, short answer, with a maximum of 20 questions. The assignments will typically be available on Monday and close the Monday of the following week. Second, the weekly exercise. Weekly exercise is a short activity related to the topic of the week. Some exercises are to be done in groups. Third activity is the final exam. Final exam is a comprehensive test covering the topics from the first day to the last day of discussion. There are 40 objective type items. Completing these knowledge check activities will entitle you either a certificate of completion or certificate of participation. A weekly certificate of completion is issued to those achieving 80% or more of the total possible points in submission of exercise. A certificate of participation is issued to those achieving below 80% but higher than zero and have attended open forum discussion and submission of expected deliverables. A course certificate of completion is issued to those who can submit the required open educational resources. A certificate of participation is issued to those achieving a score over 20%, have participated in at least six open forum discussion, and have attended in at least six live sessions. This training course is part of the project entitled Portable Learning Management System, a platform for technology-enhanced flexible learning in schools with challenging internet connectivity. This project is funded by the Commission on Higher Education through the Continuing Professional Education Grant under the K-12 Transition Program. For more information about the course, 
go to the website posted on your screen. Our speakers for Open Online Course on Technology Enhanced Flexible Learning are Dr. Theresa Kwong, Director, Center of Holistic Teaching and Learning, Hong Kong Baptist University, Hong Kong, with the topic Educational Philosophy of Technology Enhanced Flexible Learning. Professor Dr. Meltem Huri Baturai, founding leader at Learning and Teaching Innovations Research and Development Group, director of CTL at Atilim University, Turkey, with the topic Leadership in Technology Enhanced Flexible Learning. Dr. Joanne Serrano, Director, Office of Public Affairs and Office of Gender Concerns, Associate Professor, Faculty of Management and Development Studies, University of the Philippines, Open University, Philippines, with the topic, The Synergy of Technology with the Basic Learning Theories. Assistant Professor Ana Sheril M. Ramos, Director, Educational Technology Center, University of Santo Tomas, Philippines, with the topic, Teaching and Learning Framework in Technology-Enhanced Flexible Learning. Professor Dr. Ridwan Sanjay, Rector, Segoya Pranata Catholic University, Indonesia, with the topic, Tools and Platforms of Technology-Enhanced Flexible Learning. Dr. Biola Rose Torres, Director, Office of Instruction, Silliman University, Philippines, with the topic, Instructional Design in Technology-Enhanced Flexible Learning. Dr. Rachel Edita O. Rojas, Vice President for Research and Development, National University, President, Computing Society of the Philippines, with the topic, Assessment in Technology-Enhanced Flexible Learning. Professor Thenny V. Mariano, e-learning specialist, senior lecturer, UPOU, former president, Philippine e-learning society, with the topic, student interaction management and technology enhanced flexible learning. Dr. Peter C., project leader, development of a data privacy toolkit for research involving human participants in the Philippines, a participatory action research project 2018 to 2020, a DOSD PCHRD funded initiative, privacyph.org, Department of Philosophy, University of the Philippines, Diliman with a topic, Data Privacy and Protection in Technology-Enhanced Flexible Learning. Good afternoon and a warm welcome to all our participants. It is of great honor for us to be partners with you in learning strategies, pedagogies, and tools in this new normal of teaching we are in right now due to the COVID pandemic. So this free and open full online course is a very good avenue for all of us to learn and share with each other the best practices in technology enhanced flexible learning from our respective schools. So it is with great optimism that we could also share at the end of this three month long online training, our open educational resources. Have an enjoyable lifelong learning with us. Mayong hapon. Uh, yeah, good afternoon. I can't, yeah, let me try to turn on my video. I can't turn on my video, but I'll just uh, go ahead and welcome you all. Uh, yeah, it would be an honor to be here for, you know, to do this, to be part of this project. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to make it long since uh, you'll be seeing more of me later. So. 
while I'm still attempting to turn on my video. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's that's all from me for now, and I think I'll still be speaking on behalf of the, I know, the next component research member. Please go ahead to the next. Uh, yeah, I would have given myself an introduction here because uh, my camera is still off. So I would have just said that I'm not as pretty as the uh, Miss Maria Lourdes Curativo here. Unfortunately, she's uh, having fever and not feeling well. So hopefully that she'll be okay. And um, uh, we wish her good health. And uh, I know uh, I, I know that she has the same sentiments as the no, as uh, Mom D, and of course, my own sentiments. So uh, once again, I'm pretty sure that she would say uh, welcome to everyone here. Thank you. Let me introduce to you the area coordinators who will assist you in the journey towards the completion of this online course. For Region 3 and CAR, we have Dr. Talma Domingo Palawag, Graduate Program Coordinator of the College of Information Technology and Computer Science of the University of Cordilleras. For Region 7 and Region 8, we have Dr. Maria Celia Ziligasson, Program Head of the College of Computer Studies of Holy Name University. For Region 11 and Region 12, we have Ms. Sheila T. Mejos, the Dean of the College of Computing and Information Science of Notre of Marvel University. For Region 1 and Region 2, we have Mr. Herbert S. Corpus, the Dean of the Student Affairs and Services of the University of St. Louis to Gigarao City. For Region 4 and Region 5, we have Dr. Abigail Machel M. Perez Chua, the Vice President of External Affairs of the University of Batangas. And for Region 6, we have Dr. Nelly E. Mistio, the Campus Director of the University of Antique, Main Campus. For Region 10 and Region 13, we have Dr. Charlene Medore Topia Alegre, the Director for Graduate Studies and Research of Father Saturnino Orios University. And lastly, for Region 9 and Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, we have Dr. Darren B. Datilis, the Vice President of Academic Affairs of Notre Dame of Hulu College. The following are the technical support from the Office of Silliman Online University Learning. We have Mrs. Cindy Ruth R. Villariza, Mr. Fredly P. Buco, and Mr. Jade O. Montemayor. And lastly, here are the project team members. We have our instructional designers, technology development and support, of Project Component 2 and OER Development for Project Component 3. Hi everyone, uh, good afternoon. So basically this afternoon I'm going to give you a quick tour of our virtual classroom for uh, technology enhanced flexible learning. So let me just share my screen. Okay, so basically the platform that we'll be using throughout the entire uh, project is a Moodle-based platform and we, we actually call it Our Soul, based on the My Soul name of the Silliman University, right? So I'm going to open the virtual classroom. So this is how it looks like. It's basically a range per, uh, per week so what you can see here are sections which represents week for this entire course. So like for example, for week one, the title of the section or the topic for that particular week is about uh, educational philosophy of technology enhanced flexible learning. And please note that uh, for you to access the resources, the contents of this week, uh, you have to 
complete all the necessary requirements. Like for example, for week one, uh, there's a note here that says uh, the activity, this particular activity or the activity number one should be marked complete uh, before you can access the contents of resources for, for week one. So basically you have to perform the activity first, the first activity that would be under the introduction. You have to introduce yourself first before you can access the contents and activities of week one. So again, you need to access those, you need to complete those uh, needed requirements before you can access the, the, the contents of each particular week. So there are three main uh, activities for, for each week. You have the forum, you have the quiz, and then you have the assignment. So basically you cannot take the quiz if you will not complete the forum. You cannot take the assignment if you cannot complete the quiz. So you really need to complete the forum, the quiz, and the assignment for you to obtain a certificate for this particular week. So as you can see, as, as what Mamdi said uh, earlier, we have two certificates for each week. We have certificate of completion. This will be the requirements and you have the certificate of participation. This is also the requirements posted here. So yeah, that would be all in terms of uh, the virtual classroom. So the content, the core content of each week is basically uh, compiled in a book. This, this is the book activity, as you can see here. And when you open this one, it basically contains uh, the content, the core content of this particular week. Like you have different uh, subtopics like the next decade of higher education up to the conclusion. So basically, we have two types of uh, multimedia resources here. We have a video and you also have a PowerPoint. So if you want to watch the video, you can always uh, go inside the LMS and then watch the video. But if you want to have a PowerPoint um, presentation of this particular topic, then you can always click. There's on the lower right side of the video, you have click here to download the PowerPoint version of this particular video. So what you will do is just you basically click this one and then it will automatically download uh, a PowerPoint version of, of the video. So I guess that's it in terms of how you engage the course and uh, yeah, good luck with, with, with the virtual classroom. Thank you. Brutsay, ang sakayano nagtawag sa Kukuba 
sa atong sakyan Mugi si sa dayag mo guba sa atong sakyan Hello once again and good afternoon as you can see my camera is uh, finally working and uh, it was very shocking when I was asked to turn on my camera and then the music came on. I thought that I would be the one to uh, sing the song. Thankfully, uh, no, that's not my role here. No. For those who are not familiar with our campus in the university, uh, that's exactly what you would be able to see when you are in the campus. No? And we would hope that in the future, you would be able to visit uh, Siliman University and uh, that's just the ball field. And uh, yeah, it's nice that you would at least be able to see that. Um, time check, uh, right now it's 2.39 p.m. And um, we are going to be entertaining any of your questions. And I guess that uh, that's already uh, indicated that uh, you can post your questions on the chat box. We'll try to accommodate your questions if you have any. Or you can uh, raise your hand and uh, we'll let you uh, state your question, no? Because uh, at least that would give you the opportunity to speak uh, right now. So yes, um, this is the open forum and um, we are ready to entertain any of your questions. I think... Uh, Hopefully, you're not shy. Yeah, I, uh, I think we're all ready to get into the, you know, get into the virtual classroom. Uh, yeah. Sir Dave, anything we can do instead because of the... Uh, our participants are a little bit shy, I would guess. Thank you, Sir Te. Maayong hapon sa tanan. Good afternoon. And uh, we hope that uh, you are fine. And uh, we are so happy to have you here. To 226 participants attending our meet and greet. Uh, there are... Just to give you the number for those who enrolled for the open online course on flexible learning is 487 and counting and counting because there are still who are that we are still assisting, no? especially those um, who cannot find the confirmation link and others. This is always part of our journey in learning and finding all those links and all those uh, um, registration registration a form and some other links to locate no i think i am seeing questions now let me scroll. yes we do have yes we do have some uh from the chat so one is from juliet so asking about the copy um Yes, you will be uh, you will be able to have a copy. It will be shared later once that we are done. I'll just go over and finish the rest that's in the chat uh, about the icon that indicate I am finished with my session. How about the part that still mentions that there's still an exclamation point? Yes, uh, this is coming from. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Again. Uh, see the full uh, yeah can we ask to have that muted yes thank you um this is coming from dr jason salibai yes uh um please i think we can ask um sir jade to answer this there's still a part uh, with an yes. exclamation point now yes thank uh you Thank you, Sir Te. So I, I guess the, the question was uh, referring to the form. So you basically you posted your self introduction. Why is it that it's still not yet complete completed on your end? It's basically 
because uh, for you to complete the forum or the activity number one, which is introduce yourself, you need to post like your self introduction and basically you need to reply at least one from those who posted uh, to their self introduction. So basically you have two tasks. You have to post your self introduction and then you have to reply to at least one participant to their self introduction. So that's for you to complete activity number one. Yes, thank you. And there was one uh, participant who raised her hand, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, uh, Mom. Uh, Jornaline Villasante, please go ahead. I'll give you the opportunity. Yes, hello, to sir. Speak. Good afternoon, hello, good sir afternoon. Jonathan. Yes. Um, I would like to ask actually the same question with one of the participants about the self-introduction. I already had my self-introduction and as well, I commented with one of the participants, but still it's zero over seven. So I think it, it is no progress at all. Mm -hmm. but, uh, is okay. it okay, sir? Yeah, I think that uh, it can be referred back to Sir Jade. Yeah, and, uh, that, was the, that was a very similar you know, question. Yeah, thank yeah you. I... Thank you, Sir Te. So if that's the case, uh, let me just go back and check, ma'am, then I will get back to you. Okay. Thank you, Sir Jade. Uh, I'll go ahead and go over the rest of the questions. Uh, from Grace Abad, Miss Grace Abad, we are given a particular period of time. What if we will not be able to complete it? Will we be given an extension? Yeah, I'll uh, let Sir Dave answer this for now. <laughs> Think yeah, hi, hi, Mom Grace. Uh, from who's, I think this is from Jose Rizal Memorial State University. Um, basically, the the entire program it will end on December, and um, the training is designed for although a class based, but there is in between is a self paced. It means if you will miss. An activity for the week, you can actually comply it for the next week. However, you have to take note that there are specific activities that you have to comply. Say, for example, attending the live session. So obviously, we cannot recall a live session for you. So it means the quiz will be there for the entire training until December. All the activity for submission is will be there uh, for the entire uh, training period until December. In other words, the start is December 18 and the end of all exercises will, will be on uh, September 18 rather and the end of all exercises, the deadline of all exercises uh, will be on or is, uh, is on December 11. So uh, you just have to manage your own time actually because say for example, you don't have two hours for the week. And if you have more hours for next week, you can actually backtrack. I mean, you can start with the week one, but obviously you cannot proceed to a certain week if you are not able to respond or complete a particular activity as a requisite for that activity. So say for example, uh, you miss activity one and two, and then we are now on week three. You cannot immediately proceed to week three until you will complete week one and week two. And then, uh, as mentioned also by our course lead facilitator, Mom Joy, uh, you can actually get your, the certificate is automated once this are, it's not manual, once uh, you complete all those activity at any time of the day also, you can download the certificate as long as all the necessary requirements are, or uh, necessary or required activity are completed. No? So there is self-learning, there is a personalized learning, personalized in the sense that uh, you, can, you can manage your own uh, progression based on your uh, achievement of the particular activity or week. Okay, so oh. you have actually the entire three months. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sir Dave. In other words, uh, the way that we are doing this is uh, much more lenient as to as compared to how I would normally do it in my class, in my online class. <laughs> but uh, we're not applying uh, that 
ano, that uh, that technique. So this has a little bit more flexibility to it as uh, as you would be able to uh, see later on, especially in week one. It's a very uh, important word that you will keep on uh, reading. Flexible, but not with your body. If uh, hopefully that you are continuing to move even during this pandemic, we have two questions that are the same. Do you still accept registration? Okay, I yes. Um, there's a nod coming from Sir Dave, so that's definitely a yes. Thank you, Sir Dave. Um, yeah, we have that coming from. Uh, Mr. Joselito Gutierrez and Mom Maria Eliza. Hopefully, I uh, pronounced that uh, correctly. Mapano. Uh, yeah, the same question from Mr. Briones. So I'll just skip that. It was already answered by Sir Jade. Then, okay, are all sessions of the online course are in synchronous or asynchronous platform or blended? Um, actually, we have some uh, sessions we're in. We would want you to be there, but uh, we are not that uh, really, you know, very strict with regards to uh, being synchronous. So this is more of uh, a mix, no? We're mixing it up. And um, as already mentioned also by Sir Dave, that uh, you just need to be able to finish within that, you know, uh, up to December. And that is the, one of the more important things. Okay, uh, with regards to, uh, I think this would be considered as a technical question uh, for getting the password. Uh, I'd like you to reach out to the technical staff uh, on this. Uh, yeah, and at least since this is a co-teacher, please help out on this now, um, at least, uh, there's, there would be a way for us to be able to contact that particular uh, person, especially that we are now dealing with forgetting the password. Uh, I think most of the questions, and I've noticed a, a pattern here, um, they're very much concerned with regards to the progress. Progress is three over seven. Um, usually, just need to look at uh, a check mark. Uh, I think I am not mistaken with that, no? The, you would be able to see the check mark. I've seen this. I've tried this before. We're in. Uh, you would you would be able to see the check mark. So uh, if you have already accessed that particular uh, activity, the progress should change. And that's coming from uh, from New Baguio. Yeah, I can't see. Um, let me check. Yeah, just to recognize the person who asked the question. Then, do we have a scheduled meeting per topic? Okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're supposed to be every Saturday, right? Yes, we're supposed to have that on a Saturday. But we are not going to consume like the whole day. It's not going to consume your whole day. Uh, like we have already mentioned that we don't want this to take up a lot of your time. And if you have noticed that uh, I gave a time check a while back, because we want to make sure that we are still, uh, you know, within our time. And, uh, and with that, I'll also mention time check is 2.52 p.m. And there's still a lot of messages. I'm still way off. Well, good afternoon. Notify us the link of Zoom session in our email accounts. Um, yeah, video sessions usually, uh, you would see that no, you would see that in in the virtual classroom. Uh, I, I think the best way for you to know that at least by now uh, we would be scheduling it uh, on a weekly basis. So at least you can already place that in your calendar. We're in. Uh, you you would already set the time. Um, and with regards to the link, you'll be seeing the link in the virtual classroom also. Correct, sir, Dave? No? You'll be, they would be seeing the link in the virtual classroom, which is how you would access the Zoom session. Uh, two requirements still, still, yeah. Yeah, I'm going over the, uh, I'm, I'm very far, pa, very late. 
there are 28 new messages going uh, in the chat. So I'll uh, try as much as I can and uh, I'll just skip those that are all could, I would consider as already answered. Uh, yeah, most of the technical problems, uh, I'll, uh, I'll refer to Sir Jade about this. What if we have a technical problem? And uh, I think this would require Sir Jade to share the screen to show um, how to go about the technical problems where they could access their, I know. I'm pretty sure that there's a, there's that little uh, chat icon at the lower right um, when you access the virtual classroom. Am I correct, uh, Sir Jade? Sir Jade. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do we need to show that to them or no need? Na? Uh, you want we can show that? Okay. Yeah. Just for, uh, mm -hmm. just for a while. No. So basically, we have a tech support. It, it, it's not a 24 hour tech support, but at least in office hours. So if you take a look at the, the platform, uh, wherever you are in the platform, uh, on the lower right side, you have this icon here. And if you're going to click this one, it basically opens up a chat platform uh, to you and to the technical support. So there will be someone from us who will be managing this, uh, this support. So you should expect a reply at least within, within uh, minutes from the moment you initiated the chat, just in case that no one will reply because then again, we have different uh, tasks here in the office. Then you can always contact the teacher. Uh, if you're inside the, the virtual classroom, you can just go down and then click any of the teachers that you can see on, on the virtual classroom. So basically for this uh, classroom, you have three. So if you want to chat Sir Te or Mam Ma Joy or Mam Ma Corativo, you can just click the names and then you can initiate the chat message here. Thank you. Yeah, that was actually answered by someone else in the uh, chat session and i'm thankful for the answer because yeah this is the whole point of what we're doing we also would uh, encourage that you would be interacting with the rest of the participants no there's no restriction towards that uh yeah let me check also might have missed some we'll try as much as we can to accommodate the questions that you have in the chat no and um, somehow, if uh, we missed out on answering your questions, you can go. You can always go ahead and ask it through the virtual classroom. We're just giving you the opportunity to uh, get it out right now. Still, we will we'll be. Will we still get a certificate even even we don't finish the weekly task on time? So, as mentioned, that you have uh, until December, no. And uh, December is our reckoning period. So we would encourage you to manage your time. Uh, that's a very important aspect when we're talking about flexible learning. Uh, that's already the first lesson there. <laughs> okay. Para sa attendance ng live sessions. Uh, yeah. So as all, yeah, we've already indicated that you'll be able to see the the link in the virtual classroom. Um, okay, there's a question with regards to uh, this session's attendance. I think uh, we can also ask that from Sir Dave on how, how important is the attendance here? No, I don't think it's that, uh, it's that important or am I mistaken on that? They might be concerned only with this session's attendance. Or we'll just also include future attendance. Uh, okay, let me go ahead. Please check. Oh yeah, still on the progress. So uh, there's a lot of things that Sir Jade would be doing uh, with regards to the progress. Everyone's asking with regards to their progress. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, yes. About the progress, uh, if you will see zero over seven, it means that, or three over seven, it means that you've completed three activities and you still have four. Okay, so you still have four. So that's the 
uh, all you have to do is to find the four remaining activities. Why it's seven? Because we are actually opening the first week so that you will have more time to get acquainted with the learning management system, supposedly Monday. No, but uh, we already up. The week one resources are available. Uh, it's a total of seven activities because let's include the forum for the week, the activity for the week, and the assignment for the week. No? So that's why there is an additional uh, activities completed. You can actually look back or, I mean, visit the learning management system and you can see uh, the remaining activities. Uh, when it comes to... When it comes to attendance, there is attendance in every live session as part of the prerequisite. Uh, why? Because uh, we wanted you to participate and be active in our live session, in the synchronous session, especially that we are getting um, our colleagues and our partners from uh, universities abroad. And at least uh, we could participate and share with them live, live and uh, active, actively. So every live session, there's going to be an attendance, I think, that we prepared. And uh, the attendance is just a short of a one question, like who is the speaker of the day, uh, just to make sure to capture your attendance. What else? Um, um, there's another technical question here with regards to the Moodle app, and I'm definitely. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, if you don't like to receive uh, notifications, you can actually you can actually switch off your notification, and it's good that you download it because there is a mobile app version of our classroom, and uh, there is a setting or there is a profile. Since we are running out of time, I would suggest um, my staff will be collating all of these questions and then we will be answering this via a forum. We will post all questions there and then we will respond into the question. If these are if the question is operational in nature, uh, we will give you instruction or steps. Say for example how to switch off the notification and some others perhaps did not receive any notification, then we'll just give a link. Okay, so just uh, for the purposes of time, because now uh, we want really to have an on time at the same time, enough for one hour as promised that uh, um, our screen time is only one hour every, every Saturday. So for now, we will be copying all the questions. And if you have further questions, uh, feel free if that is technical in nature, uh, just check on or click on the bubble chat. And if that is uh, classroom oriented, you can check on our three facilitators who, uh, who will be with you uh, for the rest. Of course, all of us, the team are actually looking at the virtual classroom. Just to highlight also, I think I saw also one post there. Someone is uh, trying to withdraw from this course because uh, he wanted to enroll in the other class. Yes, we offered two. We offered two uh, open online course. One is this one. This is long term. This is long term, but short in between because you can you can stop in the middle, or if you don't like, uh, you can just uh, work on a particular. You can just work on a particular week. It's really up to you. Okay, uh, it's up on your intention because we believe that we have different different need level in terms of our knowledge and uh, skills in the flexible learning. I was mentioning, I stand corrected, I was mentioning a while ago on the question on what if I, uh, I just enrolled on the fourth week, what will happen? Um, you can actually take fourth week even without taking week one, week two, and week three. But obviously, you cannot get any more the course completion because there is a requirement, a required number of progress to get a final or a course certificate. Okay, so we are running out of time and uh, thank you for all those uh, questions. Uh, rest assured that our team will be responding into that and we will be posting, we will be posting that immediately so that you can respond or you can have a a, an idea on Mary. 
Yes, uh, yeah. I thank you, everyone. <laughs> Sir Dave, if I may add, yeah. uh, maybe we need to um, uh, we need to emphasize that there are two courses, and uh, if you are enrolled in the PLMS, we will start a training on Monday and end on Saturday, and that will only be one week synchronous, unlike the other course on flexible learning. Yes, thank you, from Janice. So just a reminder, week one reading resources are now available. The open forum, the quiz, and the activity are now visible. And uh, this is the one that I mentioned, aside from the bubble chat, because in the bubble chat, you cannot, in the bubble chat, you cannot, uh, what is this? You cannot interact with your uh, co-learners. All you have to do is to um go to the chat room if you wish to uh chat with your classmates or contact with your co-learners or participants our next uh zoom session is on september 25 that's saturday 2 to 3 p.m with our first speaker uh dr uh teresa kong of uh, hong kong baptist university We cannot open the attendance for. Okay, try ulit po nung ano nung link. I think some are some were able to access into it. Uh, because you need to be part if, uh, of the virtual classroom. If you pass through the Zoom via a link provided by your friend or classmate, you cannot actually check the attendance. That is why you have to log in or enter in our virtual classroom for you to be able to participate or check the attendance. Who can, who can check the attendance if it is working? Excuse me, sir. Is it a quiz form? Yes, it is a quiz form. A question like, a question like, our activity for the day is meet and greet. Okay. Thank you, True sir. True or false? <laughs> True or false? It's working. Yeah. So it will be like that, at least it is a simulation of our future activity or future attendance. So our suggestion is uh, you have to click on the link posted, done with the attendance. Okay, Sige. so if you cannot, if you are not successful with the attendance, uh, for today, just go back to our LMS. You will see the attendance until 5 o'clock p.m. Because many are actually done, no? So that we can proceed and uh, we can end this session. Thank you very much once again for uh, coming over here. Before we will end, let's have the photo opportunity. Can you switch on your camera? Ready, uh, please take charge. Hi, good afternoon. So there are 10 pages here. Let me start with the first. Smile lang all the time. Tiny, yes, smile. Lang. <laughs> One, two, three, smile. Let's go to the next one. One, two, three, smile.
We're on our third. One, two, three, smile. The fourth page, one, two, three, smile. This should be a long smile. Fifth page, one, two, three, smile. Matatam disabled the mobile, sayang. Yeah. Thank you. On our sixth page, no one tur has turned on their cam webcams. Sige. One, two, three, smile. Seventh. We're on our eighth. And last page. Okay, so we're done. Thank you for joining. See you on Saturday. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, po. Last question. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.